morning, people, and happy Monday. Thanks for choosing us today. Grab your coffee and let's talk about the Cleveland Browns, baby. Odell Beckham Jr., uh, much a topic of discussion at this year's breakfast table all week last week. Well, he, over the weekend, was at a football camp that he held, and he addressed the media talking about what he can bring to this team. I think just, you know, the things that I'm able to do on the field, which is, you know, it, it could be one play, it could be two, but I feel like I make the most of those plays. I make them very dangerous plays. Um, and that's just what I want to be able to add. You know, they're scoring 40 points a game, and you've seen how the offense starts to click. You know, it's a new team, new coach, and it's just like everything, everything in life deals with time. Um, and I think it was just a matter of time before everything got rolling, which it did. So I'm excited to be back, be a part of that, um, you know, and just, just compete at a high level again. I'm just I'm in a different place mentally this time. I love hearing from him. I do believe that's the first time he's addressed the media since October when he tore his ACL and he is back. And yeah, I think the Browns could have used a couple of those dangerous plays against the Chiefs in the playoffs. That close. Could have made it happen. Uh, oh. Hey. Is that oh. a ukulele? In a ballroom? Oh, what? Or that's a ukulele. Ball a ballroom. Oh, I'm in a... That's a uke. I'm in a, I don't even know, Kauai lobby of a hotel, an open air lobby. A little drink with an umbrella. Today is July 26th, everyone. There's excitement surrounding training camp. It's ramping up, but right here, <laughs> right now, we're just feeling good. We're calm, we're serene, we're focused. Namaste. Let's take island vibes and let them take over. I would love some pineapple. We are in good hands. Our very own James Palmer, a.k.a. Jimmy Palm Trees, is on set today for the first time ever with a debut, telling us everything we need to know about the upcoming season. James, how are you? I'm wonderful, Kay. And I am fresh off the Nepali coast, spending some time in Hanalei. And you mentioned Kauai, Maui, just <laughs> jumping around a couple islands. Oh, no big deal. You know? Okay. So that's why Kay did uh, uh, remark about these... Well, it's called SPF. tan Swedish skin I have going on right now. So, SPF. Yeah. Listen, Swedish let's fish. start here. Yes. From SPF <laughs> to OBJ. We just talked about him. We just heard from him addressing the media. Uh, we spoke about expectations for him last week. What stood out to you, my friend, most about what Odell said about himself, the team, the season? Okay, I think the biggest thing that he said wasn't part of that clip. It was actually when he said, me and Baker are gelling. We spent some time together in Austin, some time together in Cleveland. They've hung out. I was kind of being told that maybe they weren't always on the same page mm. recently. And the vet has kind of changed this summer. If you look at the way it has gone since 2019 with OBJ on the field, Baker's thrown 20 touchdowns, 21 picks. With him off the field in those two years, he's got 18 touchdowns, two picks. Oof. Now, a lot of that is that the offense started coming together the second half of the year that wasn't OBJ related. That was Stefanski has things going, the play action's operating. But if you look with his return, and everybody I've talked to there says he just looks in tip-top shape, you bring that athletic ability, that skill set at the wide receiver position back to an offense that has this running game that can run that play action, somebody's going to be open, and his ability to stretch the field and do different things is going to make this offense even better. Is this working? Because I feel ridiculous. No, it's working. Okay. It's good. working for them, too, because he said dangerous, and I kind of went back to, like, didn't Baker say he woke up feeling dangerous? Same page. Yeah. Same now page. they are gelling. Like oh. Darkwing Duck. Um, okay, well, let's keep this thing going. Oh, no. Hold over a sec. Uh, get that pineapple. Get that last yeah. bit of pineapple. Let me get another one. <laughs> yeah, make it a double. That's Utah, yeah, you give know. me two. Yeah. We got these bottomless Mai Tais. Yes. Those lava coming. flows. All right. They're so, great. So, let's let's talk pocket. about other players <laughs> we are hoping that will have a big 2021. Uh, the player you are expecting to have a big bounce back year is Ezekiel Elliott. I think we have forgotten okay. that this guy is one of the best running backs in football. Just because last year, everything that happened in Dallas, it's a down year, right? A career low in yards. He had three carries over 20 yards all of last season. He had a career high in fumbles. He goes and works with some specialists in terms of speed with his footwork in the offseason. Those guys working with him thought he looked a little heavy in the feet. He lost weight. He's at the weight he was at his freshman year at Ohio State right now. 218, I think. 218. He was about 229 at the end of last year. So it's a big difference there. And if you talk about the defense and the issues that they've had okay. there, what is a good way to help a defense try to come back? How about run the football and keep them off the field a little bit? Yep. Specifically with those three really good wide receivers, he's going to have a favorable box. And I think we forget 
how good of a pass catching running back he is in terms of running routes as well. I think Zeke Elliott, and he's motivated, is going to have a big, big bounce back here. Nice. So uh, we're, we're seeing more of this from Zeke, but he's not actually doing it. Gotcha. He definitely looks leaner. Yeah. Look yeah. at the, the video from Oxnard and, and yeah. practice. Hey, James. It's not lava flows. Andy recalls Those go straight to your hips. Back. What's Andy? Andy what? No. Yeah. Andy's not fitting in this Andy's, shirt. The producer just told me. <laughs> just a couple of Diet Cokes away. <laughs> Listen, uh, wardrobe love changes. Big, love the wardrobe love change for yep. you. There's been a lot of quarterbacks that are having wardrobe changes. Carson Wentz, he's an Indianapolis Colt. Oh. What are we going to expect this offense to look like with, with him? I think you'll see more of a Andrew Luck style offense mm. from a few years ago than you did most recently. I think we have to remember how good Frank Reich and this group is about adapting this offense. They have had three different starters week <laughs> one each of the last three years, yeah. and in two of those years, they were in the top ten in yards per game. They find ways to adapt their offense to their quarterback and make it work with their skill set. From my understanding is he has a big say in that room. He knows a lot of the schemes. He's helping pick what he likes and what works his, with his skill set. I mentioned Andrew Luck because the biggest thing you heard from players in Indianapolis was this guy is a physical freak. I didn't understand he was this big. 100%. I didn't understand he could move like that. Didn't understand he had an arm like that. You could see a more similar offense to what they ran with Andrew Luck when Frank Reich was there. And at the same time, the other thing they're telling him is you don't have to do it all yourself. You have three dynamic running oh, yeah. backs that play the position differently. You have an elite offensive line. You have d depth at the wide receiver spot. Make sure you don't put it all on your own shoulders, but at the same time, a very similar skill set to Andrew Luck if you look at the way they play the quarterback <laughs> position. He'd like to play like Andrew Luck. Right? <laughs> I don't know how you did that with that music playing the whole time, but well done. I will remind people. It feels great. It's like you got the season, one AirPod in The it. last season <laughs> we saw Carson Wentz. Town. And the last season we saw Frank Reich together. It was 33 touchdowns, seven interception, and an 11 and two season. So right. we'll have more with Maui Jin later, everybody. Oh, Let's check good. in with the Super Bowl MVP, though. Let's get yeah. social here. There's video of Tom Brady. It went uh, off over the weekend. This is pinpoint accuracy. He, this, you know, the jugs machine spits one out and he throws it perfectly right back in. He even, like <laughs> runs back boyishly. Here he goes and he, okay. So I didn't want to ask this on Twitter because I was just I would get killed for it. Get the music. I just don't understand if this is real or fake or how difficult this would be, Nate. What do we think? It would be extremely difficult. So this is it's doctor? <laughs> for sure, 100%. It's impossible. Yeah. The, the, the ball would never be able to, I mean, with the jugs spinning. You can't, the jugs, ball can't, you jugs, can't throw the ball yeah, that they're spinning, to stick they're spinning in a way where the ball spits out at you. So it would so. have to be like I really think hard. what's helping that 31% is if they, you know, you don't know how good of an actor Tom is. If you've seen Ted 2, you see how good of an uh, actor okay. Tom He's a great is. Actor. He's selling it there like He's it's real actor. life. If he did it once, it'd be more believable. Yeah. Brady's gone. three. Brady's winning on so many levels. Yeah. His video department. Ah, it's it's incredible. incredible. It's just... it, it reminds me of those old fantasy football commercials, you remember? Yep. Yes. Um, uh, that, that right there. Catch. Yeah, the, exactly. The back. Catching the ball through the, sh the sheet rock. And they had like Mike Nugent kicking a football and hitting that football multiple times exactly. while it was in the air. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That would could be a good stunt. You think you could do it in that outfit? Give it a shot. I'd love to see that ball. These things are not. to see that ball come back. These shirts at you don't constrain the your throwing ability at all. That's why Andy wears them. I mean, <laughs> I love the I pink flamingos. I got tons can of. We, can we see the pink flamingos on the shoulder? We'll have more with James Palmer, Sean.